Hey, what's going on, VC? This is Zonk Man coming at you again. Hope everybody had a uh, great Thanksgiving. Um, and yes, this is a Black Friday Record Store Day video. Um, still testing out. I've got the ring light up there, but I don't know about the light on this video. <clears throat> or the sound. So we're just going to keep on rolling with it. So this video is going to be RSD, Black Friday RSD. And also, the we will say the support of local record shops through buying used records. And uh, basically, just... Uh, just getting on here. I don't know if this is late for an RSD video already. It's just Saturday. It was yesterday. <clears throat> I did get a few. I know what you're saying. Oh man, why are you even messing with that anymore? Uh, basically, it's gotten to where even the my favorite record store does not participate here in the area. And the other record stores have scaled way back. So, uh, it's whatever going through its changes whatever's gonna happen I know a lot of people you know bag on RSD <clears throat> but there's a few things I wanted to get so I'm gonna show those but then really what uh, what Friday was was literally like Zonk Man uh, it was like a crackhead robbed a bank and then went to all the crack dealers that he knew and that's how crazy this is. And I'm already a couple minutes in, so I should just go ahead and start showing the records. And I'll, I'll this is gonna be a long video. It don't matter what, how you slice it. Boom, right off the top. See, I need to get some light and then not have any glare. What is that noise in the background? Oh no. It's the doors live at Bakersfield. This is the RSD release. I had to get my doors, man. The sound on this, I'm no audiophile, but it might be a touch off. Parts are all right. Parts are not the greatest sound. Man, I sure hope it is no AI bullshit. I have none of that. Okay, let's keep RSD. We're gonna try to stay focused. Judgment Night soundtrack. You know, I've got uh, I've got a uh, heavy metal buddy right here in in Winston. <clears throat> and he he is he does not like any type of rap rock or metal mixture and that is basically what this is this judgment night soundtrack from 94 <clears throat> he was mad when uh ice t did a track on megadeth's last album he said i don't want to hear that <laughs> so and then this actually on this album it is my favorite track it is ice t and slayer doing disorder so, in case you're not familiar, this is uh, rock and then hip-hop artists doing different tracks. Kill, you've got Helmet and House of Pain, Teenage Fan Club and De La Soul, Living Color and Run DMC, Biohazard and Onyx. You know, that's if you're not familiar with the soundtrack. Now, I know what you're saying. Zonk Man, why are you biting into the cash grab that is and it's like oh yeah this i was not paying attention this was just reissued a couple years ago <laughs> so now they do some kind of colored variant and then do a cash grab which leads me into this next record skid row besides our <laughs> beside ourselves uh it's a ep of covers only from 1992 skid row i always loved their version of the ramon psychotherapy so I had to get this. And then you're saying, hey man, same thing as that Judgment Night. They reissued that like a couple years ago. Why didn't you get it then, Zonk, man? I can tell you that. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's real short too. There's a Kiss song, Judas Priest song, Rush song, and they do a version of Lil Wing, Jimi, Jimi Hendrix. But anyway, that uh, psychotherapy Ramones cover is what I was after here. Skid Row besides ourselves. There's more RSD. And you know, that's another thing too with RSD. Normally, I am not a 
impulse buyer of RSD. I already know the couple of titles I want, and then let's go in, that's it, and let's get out of there. That is not the case with this. This is Screaming Trees, and the, the, the title of this is Wrong Turn at the Jahannam. Jahannam? I have no idea. So this is a live in the studio, not from a live show, from 1991 for the Screaming Trees, which is Uncle Anastasia and uh, Change Has Come, which was a Sub Pop EP. That's the only two things that were out, uh, I guess, when they recorded this. <clears throat> what When I fell in love with the Screaming Trees was, of course, the single soundtrack and that hit nearly lost you. Um, so that was my introduction to the Scream of Trees. And of course, none of that's on here. That was the Sweet Oblivion album in 92. Um, and this, of course, was recorded in 91. <clears throat> this, to my knowledge, has never been issued on vinyl. So uh, we'll see how this sounds. This is still sealed. I have not cracked into it. Okay. So all the RSD is done. We're done with the RSD. So I, there was all kinds of jumping around, going here, getting the Billy Strings uh, for my buddy Taylor, uh, then meeting up with him at another store, and then getting uh, the NOS uh, I Am autobiography uh, for our buddy Eric, and then meeting up with him. So this is going all over the place. Greensboro and Winston-Salem. This is, oh wait, I'm on the wrong stack here. Just need to go ahead. So, left all that. So, I went to go meet Taylor to give him his record. And he actually got me that uh, Skid Row, too, because I was worried about not getting that. Which is granted, there's a gazillion of them out there. And they're all, they're actually cheaper online than they were record store day. That's how, <laughs> that's how this stuff goes. So, I went to Soul Relief Records. Taylor went to King Records in Archdale. Got the uh, Skid Row. I got the Billy Strings in McKay's Winston. And uh, then we met up at Soul Relief. Soul Relief is actually where I got that Scream of Trees. And then I got some other stuff. So let's buy used. B-52s, Mesopotamia. I, uh, I'm i not familiar with this record at all. I had just gotten the B-52s self-titled debut. Um, so I don't even know like what songs off this, if any. Um, I just, it was on the want list. And we're supporting local record stores like it's supposed to be done. Not like RSD doing the cash grab and basically making it hard for the local store owner to uh, even participate now. Because of corporate greed. Imagine that. So we're still, we're still at uh, Soul Relief. Uh... Bon Jovi, New Jersey. You don't have to show this. Yeah, this was on the want list. Um, Y'all know Bon Jovi? <laughs> the uh, glam metal. All that uh, bad medicine. And uh, what's the other one? Lay your hands on me. All these, all these are good, man. This is good Bon Jovi. Gotta have that stuff. What was the other? Oh, yeah. That's the type of stuff I'm showing. Duran Duran Notorious. Yes, I, this is the first Duran Duran record I've got. Um, I've got all those Duran Duran records on uh, on the want list. Yeah, that's that's how I justify uh, uh, coming home with records <laughs> to Mrs. Zonkman. Oh yeah, I'm just getting what's on the want list. So that means the want list is like a million zillion records. <laughs> but anyway, Notorious, and then I'm not really for, I'm only familiar with the hit on this. I'm not familiar with anything else. So Soul Relief, um, leave Soul Relief. I'm hungry. I gotta stop and get a biscuit. And uh, Taylor asked me, he said, "What are you doing?" Um, yeah, I'm gonna go home, clean some records, and uh, listen to some records today. And that is not what I did. <laughs> I blatantly lied. So I ended up going to Hippo in Winston Salem, and that's where I got the Nos. Uh, for Eric, and then recently Hippo had bought out a store or something like that, or an inventory, and some of the stuff, they are selling new records as used price. 
Um, so they've got some. I didn't get a chance to go through the Greensboro store. But so here I am in the Winston store, and there's just way too many. So we're going to go. We're Hey, what are we doing? We're supporting local record stores by buying used. This is probably the big hit of the day, Mono Lord, Empress Rising. This is a 2014 album. This is a 2021 repressed gold metallic. They play. This is Ride and Easy Records, so they do a lot of the color variants. Um, this is the Stoner Man, the Stoner Doom. This was. This is the first, first full length album, I believe. Mono Lord, you've got, you, if you're listening to Stoner, you got to have Mono Lord in your collection. So we're just going to keep on rolling with that. Boom, what's this? Monster Magnet, Four Way Diablo. This is, and that was a two LP set. Um, cheap, cheap. Sell it as used. Same thing on this. Two LP set. What is this? This is a. Uh, 2007 album, 2022 reissue, killer stuff, man. Huge, huge Monster Magnet fan, mainly Power Trip and God Says No. But uh, recently with my buddy, we've been getting, he's say, oh, we got to listen to this and this and this and the earlier Monster Magnet. So even though this is a, a later one, still had to get all the Monster Magnets you can find. So, killer to find this. Basically, new record, use price. We're going. To, we're pulling all kinds of stuff out of here. What is Dance Fever? I don't know what that, that's. Florence and the Machine. Of course, I can't think of the uh, the album, but it was like a 2012 album. Uh, what is it? I can't remember the single. It's hard to dance with a monkey on your back or something like that. Um, killer track. This is something that I have not dove into at all, but I guarantee you, it was on my want list. That's what I'm telling Mrs. Oakman anyway. No, it was. No, it was. <laughs> Crazy stuff. What's this? Boom. Red Hot Chili Peppers. No, this is not a original press or anything. The Uplift Mofo Party Plan. This is actually the last reissue, which was 2009 U.S. Um, these are kind of crazy, too, actually, with all the stupid stuff that's going on with Discogs and them trying to uh, create their own market or whatever it is they're doing and raising the prices of everything. Um, but this is actually a great record. Red Hot Chili Peppers, whether you like them or not, this is early stuff, Fight Like a Brave, Me and My Friends, Backwoods, Behind the Sun, and then probably the number two song, play for uh, Mrs. Zonkman, Special Secret Song Inside. They can't even put the title on the uh, cover. It's on the back. I don't know if you're not going to be able to read that. It's upside down too. But anyway, so if you're not familiar with the Special secret song inside on Uplift Mofo Party Plan. Go listen to that. Um, I play that for Mrs. Zonk, man. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. What is this? Tribe Called Quest. We're showing some... The Zonk Man showing some hip-hop, man. It's about giving the love. But this is a record that I have needed for sure. Tribe Called Quest. Low End Theory. This is actually a 96 pressing, but the way the guy at the record store uh, told me about it, he said, really, this has never went out of press. Um, so, you know, who knows when somebody actually bought it. But it's got a little wear, a little love on it. So I know it. Well, it's not uh, like the brand new reissue that came out a few years ago uh, when they were doing all, the, all that stuff. Great stuff. Oh, this is cool. You have to get your Norwegian black metal with mayhem. Um, if you are not familiar with the story on this, <laughs> um, this is the, the, the this is the name of the these are the names of the band members. 
Necro Butcher, Dead, Hellhammer, and Neuronimus, or something like that. Anyway, um, this is live at Leipzig. I, I don't know. Somewhere in Norway. <laughs> in April, oh no, I'm sorry. November of 90. November of 90. This is a live show. And this is a 2015 reissue of that that was actually put out on a 1993 cassette. Of course, if you don't know the Mayhem story, the guy the guy wanted to be so death or black metal that he killed himself. And then the other member was charged with doing some other totally out there ludicrous behavior. And uh, I'll let you look that up for yourself if you're not familiar with that story. But, so there was only two members left to do kind of a dedication to Dead, who uh, died by his own hand. And then this is a night, I don't know if this is even the last show or not, but this is the one they did the cassette on. 19, November of 1990 in Leipzig, East Germany. All right. Mayhem. So we're just going, and this is still all these records from Hippo and Winston. Godsmack, Lighting Up the Sky. Don't have to talk about Godsmack. This is their most recent album, 2022. Cool used copy. This is another one, same type of thing. Corn, Requiem. Um, I did hear somebody talk about it. I said, hey, nobody's giving this album any love. It does sound more like old school corn than them trying to do what they've been doing the past 10 years or whatever. So, yeah, Corn Requiem, super cheap. Super cheap. Then, we're going to go after that. What do we do? Man, I can't even think. But anyway, also go to Underdog. So, Underdog did not participate at all. So, I'm going to go and I'm going to show some love and buy some used records. Madonna, the Immaculate Collection, yes. This is on the Zonk Man's Want list. A little expensive, but, you know, uh, super great condition, 1990, original uh, pressing, and not a club pressing. Had to get the Justify My Love. And all those hits, you know all those Madonna hits. This is another one cool found in the used bin. Pearl Jam, Let's Play 2. Great live uh, record in Wrigley Field in 2016, the same year that they went on to win the World Series. Is that correct? 2016. Anyway, Pearl Jam, good stuff. This was cheap, used record. Pfft. I'm not even showing this stuff. Look, and that's what the rest of this is going to be. Cars, Candio. Yeah, I need a copy of this. For the cars, man. I've actually got another cars record recently, too. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to show all these quick. Woodstock, too. I've got Woodstock, so I had to get Woodstock, too. Super cheap, man. And this has more Hendrix. Uh, Jefferson Airplane on there. There's even a Butterfly Blues Band song on here. Melanie, Joan Baez, and Canned Heat. Which are not necessarily all on the uh, first one. So that's good stuff. Ted Nugent Amboy Dukes. What is the name of this one? Tooth, Fang, and Claw. It's got the Great White Buffalo on it, man. That's an excellent track. Sorry about all the glare. I'm leaving the plastic on this. I'm still filing through. Here we go. Some more stuff. Old school. Little Red Riding Hood. Sam the Sham and the Pharaoh. And this looks like some kind of original pressing. Well, I don't even know when this record came out. 66 or something like that, maybe? 67? Bam! Okay. This is all cheap stuff, too. Got to support local record store. So I was an underdog buying it up. Jefferson Airplane, Crowns of Creation, or Crown of Creation. Boom, last of the good albums. I think this is a 1970, maybe a 1969. No. 68. I got somewhere around there. It might be 1970. 
last of the good early Jefferson Airplane. And then this, this record right here, this is going to be an oddball. Long time ago, Grown Man Record Night, Steve Fever said something about this was as psychedelic an album as Neil Diamond ever did. And this is 1968, Velvet Gloves and Spit. And I have no idea other than the Shiloh song, which was a hit. So, of course, that was on Neil Diamond Greatest Hits. But it shows, it's got some other songs on here, too. It says Brooklyn Road, Sunday Sun, and Two-Bit Man Child. So, we're going to see how, if it was folk psych, singer-songwriter psych, or whatever this was, Neil Diamond album. Early Neil Diamond. <clears throat> and you know what? I'm throwing this in just for the end. We're already to over 20 minutes. Thanks to Vance, Mr. Zep Pearl, Ritual King, The Infinite Mirror. This actually just came today. Boom. Had to get this Ripple Music. This is a UK band. St. Stoner Rock, man. Psychedelic. Uh, Tripping stuff. Cool artwork. And of course, I could have a story to tell about coming all beat up corners from Amazon. Okay, I think that's it. So the Zonk Man went absolutely nuts. Um... I am thankful, and I had a great Thanksgiving, even though I went stupid on Black Friday, running around all the record stores like a chicken with my head cut off, but uh, I was there to support the local record store, unlike uh, what RSD is doing, so... That's it, man. I got nothing else, you know. Uh, leave a comment... Um, dog the Zonk Man out for buying RSD, whatever, even though it was just a few titles. Um, whatever you want to say, hey, no, I'm still in on RSD or whatever. Um, so that's how I uh, supported local shops, buying used records. Like a maniac. Peace.